Okay, just getting this, just getting this uh, positioned properly. Okay, folks. Hi, it's Fred from CR Machine, and um, although I've got fairly well-written descriptions um, in my website, um, crmachine.com. Uh, about the, the, the different types of engines. Um, it, it's for somebody who is is not completely immersed uh, with these engines like myself, uh, I, it, it, this can be very confusing uh, about what kind of engine do you have? Um, and, well, there are three different, engine geometries. Now I'm just talking about the 47 millimeter piston type, the big engines, um, 66 slash 80 cc. Um, there are three different engine geometries and um, and so I want to talk about those. And this will help you, uh, you know, some people like to just look at videos, they're visual people. If you're like me, um, that that's, that's a better way to, to, to get an understanding. So, um, okay, the differences, uh, we've got two different types of pistons, type A and type B. You'll notice the piston wrist pin location. You got the type A, it's decidedly down towards the bottom of the piston, type B is more or less in the middle of the piston. You can see that, the difference. So um, let's talk about the Type B. That's pretty straightforward. Type B pistons are what I call the GT5 type engines. Um, there are a few vendors that have it. Rose on eBay, Rose 326A carries that. Um, these current engines have fine thread studs. And those have the FM80 connecting rod. I don't know if you can see that. FM80, right there. Okay, so if you're unsure, you can't remember where you got the engine, you can take a look at it. And I believe, although I've not seen one of these rods in person, I believe that there are some out there that have a marking ZAF80. And those are the uh, long connecting rod type and must be matched with a type B piston. Otherwise, if you put a type A piston on it, it's gonna hit the cylinder head. It's gonna come way up too much. So, okay, FM80 or ZAF80 uh, connecting rod plus type B piston equals a 38 millimeter stroke GT5 engine. And then there's more variations for this one the engines with the type A piston. We've got three different kind of connecting rods. And this is kind of like one of the most old versions of the connecting rod. It's a non-caged bearing. Uh, they just pack needles in there, no cage, uh, for the lower bearing. The ZL rod. ZL rod. And um, these are for the PK-80. This is what I call the PK-80. You know, there really isn't a standard for nomenclature here. Um, so, it's what I call them. <laughs> and um, uh, some of these engines have um, single-piece flywheel weights. Other engines have... Um, a two-piece uh, flywheel half. Um, there's, you'll see a cast iron weight that's screwed onto the uh, flywheel. Um, so those are the 40 millimeter stroke PK80. Here is another short rod and it has no marking. Fine quality rod, caged needle bearing, and um, these engines, you can find these engines, DAX, the DAX uh, F80 engine uses this connecting rod. This is a PK80 style as well, uh, 30 
uh, 40 millimeter stroke, although some of the uh, earlier engines, um, you know, before I talked with those guys about it and I said, you know, yeah, you should, you should, you should make this a 40 millimeter stroke because that kind of geometry is going to make this combination work better. Uh, but in the earlier days when they started producing uh, crankshafts with this rod, uh, some of them are 38 millimeter stroke. And um, which brings us to the ZAE50 rod. It's a short rod, same dimensions um, in length, center to center length, as all these. However, the ZAE50 rod uh, is exclusively used um, with a, uh, a special unique crank. It's an extra wide crank, a little heavy, um, but it's a, a flywheel weights are one piece. Um, they fill the crank case really well, good crank case compression or primary compression. Um, and um, they offer, you know, fairly good performance um, and good balance factor. And those ZAE50 rods, it's a nice lightweight rod too, uh, are used exclusively for the, what I call again, the half-breed engine. Half-breed. <laughs> and the reason why I say that is that the half-breed engine has a 38 millimeter stroke like the GT5s. However, it does not use the type B piston long rod combination. It uses the short rod type A combination like the PK80s, but it's not because it's a 38 millimeter stroke. So it's got a little of both. Um, and so, uh, so uh, let's see. Yeah, that that's that's about it, folks. Um, these are the various connecting rod combinations that you will find, and that's the most reliable way to determine what kind of engine. Uh, it's pretty easy to tell if you've got a GT5. Uh, anyway, all the GT5s currently now are, uh, are fine thread, so anything with that is, pff, is probably going to be a GT5. And when you get the Type A piston, there are more varieties. You've got these two that are currently pretty much 40 millimeter stroke, PK80 style, and then you got your ZAE50 rod, um, short rod, just like the others. However, 38 millimeter stroke and um, if you're unsure whether or not it, let's say you've got uh, an engine with the no name the no mark no uh, the connecting rod with no markings on it um, if it's an early one uh, you know that Dax sells um, Neil senior um, he, he sells them you can contact him on Facebook um, um, I believe there's another vendor out there too that 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 sells this engine. It's a you know new version of the PK80. It uses a caged needle bearing, uh, assembled very well. Um, uh, good bearing clearances. It's excellent um, uh, quality. Uh, and uh, one thing you could help you one thing that could help you determine whether or not it is actually a true 40 millimeter stroke or if it's one of the early ones that are 38 millimeter stroke is to just simply bring the piston to top dead center and you will see if it's a 38 millimeter stroke engine uh, you will see that the uh, the edge the top edge of the piston is not going to come flush to the top of the cylinder body, it will be about a sixteenth of an inch down in the hole. Whereas, if it's a true PK80, which these ZL rods, uh, I've always found that they're 40 millimeter stroke, you will find that engines equipped with these rods that are true 40 millimeter stroke, the top edge of the piston will be shy of the uh, top face of the cylinder body, maybe by about 
20 thousandths of an inch, just a little bit. So that's a noticeable difference. Also, you will see that the true 40 millimeter stroke engines, when you go to bottom dead center, the outer edge of the piston will be pretty much flush to the bottom of the exhaust port. You'll find with the GT5s, 38 millimeter stroke, and the ZAE50 half breed, 38 millimeter stroke, you will find that not only is the piston down in the hole, when it's at top dead center, when it's, it'll be down in the hole, about 16th of an inch, 60 thousandths. And when it's at bottom dead center, both of these, half breed, GT5, 38 millimeter stroke, when it's at bottom dead center, you'll see that the piston would have to travel about another 40 thousandths or one millimeter before it reaches flush, the outer edge of the piston to be flush with the bottom of the exhaust port. Okay, so three types of engine geometries, folks. And this will help you when you want to get a top-end kit you can go to crmachine.com. My store address is shop.crmachine.com. And there will be cylinder bodies that have been, that you can get in the uh, other engine parts section. Um, they have been tailored to fit whatever engine geometry you have. And really, these alterations for optimal performance, these alterations are necessary uh, in order to obtain good squish band clearance. It's necessary uh, in order to uh, uh, correct uh, port timing problems. Um, so the 38 millimeter stroke engines in particular have the most port timing uh, problems. Uh, PK80s tend to not really have so much port timing uh, problems. Uh, minor adjustments to reach optimal, uh, um, but the 38 millimeter strokes, you know, not coming down to the bottom of the exhaust port and so on and so forth, uh, require uh, some more uh, alterations. But, you know, that's not a big deal. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, I, I sell uh, stage one uh, cylinder bodies uh, for $75 um, and they have a full port job full port and polish uh, corrected port timing corrected deck heights everything um, and stock intake um, stage 2 well those additional widening of the exhaust port additional enlargement of the intake the whole intake system including a big intake for a 19 or 21 millimeter carb um, are available so all right i hope that helps clear up some confusion especially for the newcomers in this in this fascinating uh hobby um it can be extremely confusing and um you have every right to be um, <laughs> horribly confused. So uh, for the visual types like myself, here's a video and some things to look at to help you identify the differences um, between those three different engine geometries. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.